What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get app icons in your newsstand folder. Now, if you're running iOS 5 or iOS 6, you're obviously going to know that you have this boring old newsstand app on your iPhone, your iPod Touch, or your iPad. The people that don't uh, know what newsstand is, it's where you get uh, newspapers, magazines, um, and stuff like that. Not books, because that's for iBooks, but it's much like iBooks, and you just put them into this newsstand application. There is now a use for it with a glitch that people have found in iOS 6. So today I want to show you guys, as you can see, when I open up newsstand, all of my uh, most used apps, Facebook, Twitter, you know, YouTube, Chrome, Snapchat, Amazon, they're all sitting in uh, this folder for me to access. It it's like a folder, but it's actually newsstand. Now, uh, what's really cool about this is I could still move all my icons around and stuff like that. I could move them down the rows just like a regular folder. And then, of course, I could also delete an app uh, if I didn't want it. Uh, I'm just not going to delete it uh, for purposes here, and then I'll just go ahead and hit the home button to make them stop jiggling. So they're all there. Now the one disadvantage about this is you can't actually drag icons out of it. Um, you you actually have to restart your device, and that's another thing. If you respring or your battery dies, you have to restart. Um, everything gets emptied out of the folder, and you have to start all over again. Not a big deal, but uh, you know it's not the greatest. So, anyways, today what I'm going to be doing is actually showing you exactly how to do this. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take newsstand off of wherever it is and make it a second page. So if you have one page, put newsstand on the second page, leave your first page blank. And then the third page, you're going to want to have all the icons that you want to put into newsstand. I'm going to leave the ones I currently have in it. I'm going to take Temple Run. Uh, I'm going to take Google Translate. Whoop. Google Translate. Uh, then I'll take this Drums application. Okay. And let's just get this flashlight application, and I guess we'll stop there. So you can see we have four applications now um, that we're going to want to go ahead and actually put into newsstand. Now I'm going to take my phone off the stand here um, because this is actually a process which is going to involve you to uh, be a little bit fast. So what you're going to want to do, let me explain this first, you're going to want to uh, hit the home button, and the second after you do that, have a thumb up here or another finger to hold down your first app that you want to move, and then quickly slide back to the page with the newsstand icon. So just watch, and then I'll try and explain it again. Try that again. Whoop. And there you go, you can see that they're automatically wiggling. I'll scroll to the bottom, and when I hit the home button, you can see that Temple Run 2 moved in there. At first, it will be um, a little bit of a dark icon, but if you go ahead and open it uh, and just head back to the home screen, it will be normal colored again. So, again, if you didn't see, you're going to want to hit the home button first, then as you're pressing in the home button, quickly come up here and hold down the icon uh, that you want to move. It'll take you back to the first page, and the second it does that, swipe back to the to the second page with newsstand on it. Leave the icons wiggling, and when newsstand, uh, what you're going to do is open up newsstand and hit the home button within it. So let's try Google Translate now. It takes a while to get uh, the hang of. At first, I didn't know what I was doing, but finally I do. So we got it there. Let's get drums now. Okay. And it will happen where, like, just I said I was going to put drums in there, but it actually put flashlight instead. Um, that's a common glitch that'll happen. You know, this is a glitch, and it's, it's a glitch in a glitch. So uh, there's really nothing you could do about it. I mean, you know, Apple didn't put this uh, on purpose in here. So we're going to do drums now. Oop, that was a that was a bad one. Go ahead and do that now. And as you can see, it worked out really well. So there you go. There are all my apps that are now inside of Newsstand. So if you want to get them all out, you're going to go ahead and power down or just reset your device. I'll just quickly reset the device here um, to pick up the speed. Okay, so our device restarted, and as you can see, Newsstand is empty yet again, uh, and all the apps that were within Newsstand have emptied out onto my home screen, so this is kind of a disadvantage with the glitch. Again, it's not introduced by Apple. Uh, hopefully Sunday, Apple will just give the option to actually put Newsstand in a folder for once. Um, if you do want to put Newsstand in a folder, you could, of course, use that app to hide Newsstand, or you could do the same glitch I just showed you, just using Newsstand as your app, and then a folder as a folder. I'll go ahead and show you real quick. Um, so, for example, let me go ahead and move newsstand here. We'll leave it on the home screen. 
I'll hit the home button and hold down newsstand, come back over. You can see a folder opens and we'll just drop it right into that folder. And I never ever have to see it again. Now obviously if you open up newsstand um, from in here, your device is gonna go ahead and crash. I don't know why the display went that dim. Um, but however, even if you do open it, it still stays in there. And the other cool thing is you could just pop it right out uh, if you do want to keep it out of the folder without having to respring or anything. And that's pretty much it. And that's how to get apps inside of newsstand. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. There are a lot more iPhone 5 uh, little hacks and things you can do with your phone now since there's no jailbreak out. If you like this video, please be sure to leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.